Hello, my name is Chris. Uh, my handle is Monte Vaca, and this is part two of my Unity 3D first person object interaction scripting tutorial. Um, we left off last time. Um, we had just added a couple scripts to our camera and our object uh, that allowed, once we looked at our object, for it to change to a red color. The, the main problem, was, but we ran into a couple problems. The two problems that we ran into is, were that when we looked at the, uh, the, the cube, it changed to red, but when we looked off of it, it stayed red, and we'd kind of like it to change back to white. And the other problem is uh, when we looked at the ground, it was giving us an air. Um, we're going to start off by fixing the air on the ground, because that's an easy fix. The problem was is uh, we're calling this function each time the... the the ray cast that we cast um, hits any sort of object with a collider, but uh, this script is only attached to our actual uh, cube. So what we want to do is actually put in a second uh, if statement. What we're just going to do is copy this entire thing except for the on look enter. Copy this entire thing and do is not equal to null and then that's and what this does is it just double checks to make sure that there is a script attached to the object with the, the uh, collider hit called interact and as long as there is we'll call the the function within that script uh, the, the error we were getting was we kept uh, trying to call a function on a script that was not attached to the object that it was colliding to. So if we save this, it has the actual interact script attached to it before calling the function on it. And see right now we're looking at the ground and it's not calling, but if we look at the, uh, the actual object we we're trying to interact with, it does call the object and it does change to, to red. So that's the first problem that we fixed. Uh, now let's open up the interact script. And so what we want to do is change the object back to white when we are not looking at it. And the easiest way to do this, probably not the most optimal way to do this, we're probably going to have to come back later if we're having problems with slowdown with our game and tweak it a bit. But uh, the easiest way to do this is to go to our update function and just change the color back to white each time and what this does is uh, each frame uh, it's going to change the color of this object to white and then uh, each frame that we actually look at it it changes the, after it changed it to white it changes it back to red so a little counterintuitive but basically all it's doing a bunch of uh, changes and this should allow us to we look at it it changes it to red we look off of it it changes it back to white that's pretty nice. I mean, and we've got we've got the distance function in, so you actually have to be close enough to it for this to work. And so that shows the selection. What we also want to do now is we want to have a message for the uh, player to be able to. Okay, this is the object that we've selected. Now they can press a button to interact with it. So let's uh, open back up our interact script. And we're gonna target. Um, I've already got a GUI text field in this in this scene. I uh, placed it before we started the tutorial. I'm not gonna go into how to place it and get it perfect because um, you guys can figure that out on yourself. It's not that hard. Um, right now we're gonna create a target variable. So we're gonna do public GUI text. Uh, don't forget to capitalize text and we'll call it target and we come down here to on look enter we're going to do target dot text equal to and have it just say press E to interact. Okay, and if we run this, it's going to work, but we're going to run into a similar problem. 
So we do it. Oh, duh. Okay, first we've got to actually assign the target. So we've got the target over here for the GUI text. We drag our GUI text object to it, and now it is actually targeted. Let's clear our console, and we run. So boom. So we've got our little message popping up to interact with it. Uh, the issue we're going to run into it is it all, it doesn't go away when we look away. So to fix that, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to add a new script. This is going to be for create new C sharp C sharp script, and it's going to be pop up. Let's call it that for now. We open it up, rename it. Up, up. Okay, and the only thing we're gonna really do in this is we're gonna change GUI texture uh, text dot text, and we're gonna make it equal to a empty string. So what this does is like the uh, color that we did on the the interact script. Uh, just every frame, it changes the text of the message. To an empty string so when it's not being automatically changed by our interact script to this it changes it back <laughs> okay I forgot to attach it uh, live demo folks here we go so we look at it and then we look off yeah see that works cool okay so we've got that working now what we want to do is actually detect a a, ma a key press so what we're going to want to do is go back to our interact script and this time we're going to need to add another function but this one isn't uh, our last function was pretty much defined by us this one is an already defined function this one is used for most uh, for event handling um, so we got public on GUI. So once we're in here, we're going to create event E is equal to event dot current. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test E if E dot is key. Now it'll tell us if uh, the event that uh, just happened is a keyboard event. We're also going to want to do and if e is character is equal equal to the e key. What we're going to do is normally the what I'm building this for is for a conversation system this is where we put in like our conversation call or whatnot just to uh, give us something to do I'm gonna just uh, add a a physics rigid body dot we're gonna add a force to it now we're gonna do let's just do vector up vector three dot up and we're going to multiply it times we'll do a hundred okay so basically what this does is when a character presses e this object will now jump up a little bit oh we've got an error public oh we're missing void no no not public that's the problem it just needs to be void sorry guys I think that should fix it. Uh, we got another one. E event, E current. E event, E current. Oh. Duh, again. Sorry. Scripting on camera is always fun. Let's see. Rigid body. Dot add force. Force needs to be capitalized. There we go. Hopefully, there we go. Yay, error-free script. Okay, so we run it, and we can do the E to interact. If we hit E, it jumps up a bit. 
Uh, there's a little bit of an error there in that, like, well, it's not necessarily an error. Uh, since I hold down E, it kind of launches it up more than it should normally do it. I'm not going to bother changing that because that actually kind of is kind of cool. But the big error that we're running into is uh, it still happens when we're not necessarily selecting it. Uh, this can be fixed easily. We just have to go back into our interact script. What we're going to do is create a private boolean. We're just going to call this selected. I'm going to make it equal to false at the beginning. And we're going to on look enter we're going to want it to change selected to true but uh, cut out a step here so I don't have to go back and show you guys and start back over we're also going to want to come back up here to update and we're going to want to change selected to false this way every time we look away from it it's going to change back to false okay so if we hit save and we run I forgot to do this. <laughs> we also need to add an and. We're just going to put selected here. There we go. Now that should run. Okay, so we'll clear this console. Okay. So we run this. If we hit heat E now, it doesn't do anything. But if we look on it, we hit E, then it does something. And that's basically my tutorial. I'm going to do something real quick for you guys just to show you exactly that this thing works the way it should we are gonna copy this uh, these cubes real quick to just give you a little taste that it can actually choose between we can choose between each item we can make one item go up just kind of throw these up almost juggling like but yeah this is the basics of interacting through a first person view I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching.